activity is effortless. But how do we arrive at that effortlessness? How? What do we have to eradicate? What do we have to let go of? What do we have to develop? Well, we must decide to let go of whatever it is that causes us stress. Whatever it is that causes us to just kind of constrict ourselves. And that's usually something that is causing us stress out of fear of something that's going to happen or whatever it is. You make a short list of what it is that stresses you out and try to just let it go. However way, just let it go because that's keeping you from your creativity. And what about developing something? You have to develop mastery. But of what? Whatever it is that gives you joy. Whatever it is that gives you a positive f fulfillment. Develop that. Let's, let's look at the majestic osprey, for example. They come to Colonial Beach the early spring and they leave late fall. So what is this beautiful bird doing? Well, it's doing what it does best. Fly. She's just flying without effort. She's on the wing. She glides on the wind, not expending much energy at all. She knows what to do. I bet when she was just learning to fly, she couldn't do it that easily. Just like you, when you're first learning to do something, painting, drawing, writing, some parts of it comes really easy to you, I bet. But other parts just take a little practice. So just like this bird, she's just flying, gliding, enjoying. And she's also looking for food. She's flying over the river. But it's easy. It's easy for her. She's mastered flying. And you can master whatever it is you want to be great at with some practice. But remember, you can't do it if you're stressed out. And when you do get mastery, it comes with ease. Whatever you're doing then, it becomes easy, effortless. And with this ease, even greater things can be accomplished, produced, created. Before the telephone poles, there were trees. But now, the trees aren't quite there, but the pole is. And perhaps all the tools that you used before that were available aren't available to you anymore. But that doesn't mean that you have to stop. Don't let that stop you. Keep going with your creativity. You can just use what you need. Just know. Look around. Be alert. Be vigilant. Not out of fear, of course, but out of love. Love for your own blossoming self. Love for your own creativity. Love for your own creations. Look for things that will serve your purpose. Just like this nest. It needed to be built so the eggs could be laid. It's not in a tree, but it's in a place where it's high, in a place where the mother osprey probably knew it would be safe. So whatever it is that you want to create, remember, first, look around and see what it is that's causing you stress, and decide. Nobody's forcing you to, of course, but you decide. You decide, okay. I'm going to eradicate this stress, whatever it is, just out of my life. And then you'll make more room for your own creative blossoming, for your own spirit to just soar and glide, glide along the wings of time, of space, of your neighborhood, 